Let me tell you this. Let me tell you the thing about a gaslighter, right? A person who is a gaslighter, they will literally have you questioning your motherfucking self. And you'll be like, yo, wait a minute, hold on. Because I know I ain't tripping, but am I tripping? That's the fuck with a person who gaslights you. That's the fuck they'll do. Nah, sis, you not, you not tripping. Don't let this nigga make you think that you're tripping. You not tripping. That's what the fuck gaslighters do. Hey y'all, good morning. We are up. I've been up for a while now though. I actually been um like washing clothes and washing my bed sheets and stuff. I am getting ready to head to Kenny's championship game. So the game, the championship is today because they won yesterday. So because I'm still in town, you know, normally I'm never in town and that nigga's never playing in town. Um I'm about to head and go. It's looking like I am not going to get, um, have to go to work. At least if not today, like later today. So um, because I have that time on my hands, I'm gonna go and um, support my friend in his game. They made it to the championship and had a good time yesterday. I am about to get like a pillow or something, or like some kind of cushion because them damn bleachers, even with all this ass, them bleachers was killing me. Like, oh my God. So I'm definitely, that's what I'm about to do now. I'm about to find something to motherfucking sit on. Cause honey, your girl was hurting yesterday. Like her ting. Um, so yeah, about to head out to do that and then hit the gym after. So that's why I'm dressed like this. Cause I just got, you know what I'm saying? Gonna hit the gym after just gonna go straight from here to the gym. It's Monday, it's leg day. Uh, so yeah, let's get it. gym um i actually did not go to the gym yesterday uh that game lasted kind of long and then when i left i was like was like kind of tired like wasn't feeling it and then i knew i was starting 30 days straight today um and then i was really sick last night i don't know what was going on i don't know what it is that i ate i don't know but my stomach was doing somersaults yesterday yeah so we are headed now Day one of 30, it is June 1st. 30 days, no days off. I'm gonna do this again. I did this back in April. April, beginning of March? The end of March and basically all of April. I did 30 days, no days off. Um, and I really liked it. It actually became a good part of my routine. It actually felt weird the first couple days after taking a break, like not going to the gym. Um, so yeah, so we're headed there now, getting it in. Like I said, skipped yesterday, felt like shit. Feeling much better today though. And let's get it. Right, boy.
down right, boy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. from the gym and smoothie king i went and got it with my boy foster who he didn't work out today but we'll be in the same gym he's like my gym partner um i ended up like having to talk to him because one we just need to catch up because we ain't hung out in a while but also so y'all know i'll be dating like that and this last guy that i tried to date the Hawks game, do I was like that that situation? Yeah, y'all, that situation. Turns out that that is the world is not as big as you think it is. Long story short, him and Foster know each other, like through. Yeah, long story short, him and Foster know each other, and. On Friday, when we were at the game, and I was messaging Foster because Foster was on the keyboards, and I literally said to him, I was like, oh yeah, because he was like, oh, he was like, come say what's up, whatever, and like, no, unless you're on a date. And I was like, yeah, I'm here with a dude, but, you know what I'm saying, I can come, you know, say what's up, because you know, I'm the type person, you my friend, you my friend, like, I'm about to like flex, because of some, you know what I'm saying? I was like, but long story, I'll explain later. Because Foster knows I don't, I don't date like that. So I was like, oh, you here with a dude, like, what? You know what I'm saying? So today was me explaining the long story to him as well as getting his advice on it. Cause I just had never, I've never dealt with a situation like that before. Like I have never been in a situation with such an insecure person. Like. You know, some men have a little insecurities or whatever. You know, that's fine or whatever. But I have just never dealt. Diamond, come on, y'all. Diamond is taking forever to come in this house. Um, I have just never dealt with someone just so insecure. And it's like, okay, I done told you 18 million times that I like you. And you just not believing it. You just not hearing it. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, you trying to, like, you trying to say that you don't believe me when I say I haven't talked to anybody since last year. Like literally, I had not talked to anybody in a year. You're the first person I talked to. Like, just mad insecure. Like y'all understand the shit that I was doing with this nigga. Just like dumb, come on Diamond. Just like dumb insecure. So, you know how I, like, I made that video talking about that you have to have guy friends and that you have to have, um, you know, people in your life that can explain things to you. And it's always good to, you know, get different point of views. So I ended up having a conversation with Foster, partly because it's like, okay, there's a little there's a little bit of, of knowing this here because you you know this nigga. Like you know him. You don't know him, know him, but you know know him, you know of him. Maybe you can give me a little bit more insight. Foster is married, so you know you can give me the married man's point of view because I don't understand it. I don't get it. Explain it because it ain't making no sense to me. So sat down, had some smoothies, and a, a good conversation with him. Tried to get a little bit more. Oh God. Try to get a little bit more understanding about 
this whole situation with this with the older guy um yeah, he just confirmed that I'm not losing my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, cause I showed him like message for message, everything. It wasn't me, y'all, it's not me. Like, and now I'm confirming it was not me. Like the communication was not me. This this person is just a bad communicator. And that shit will really have, let me tell you, let me tell you anything about a gaslighter, right? A person who is a gaslighter, they will literally have you questioning your motherfucking self. And you'll be like, yo, wait a minute, hold on. Cause I know I ain't tripping, but am I tripping? That's the fuck with a person who gaslights you. That's the fuck they'll do. Nah, sis, you not, you not tripping. Don't let this nigga make you think that you're tripping. You not tripping. That's what the fuck gaslighters do. If you think, go with your first mind. Lord knows I should have. God damn it, every time. So this is the fit for today. I'm headed to go film with Lonnie. So. Got a high puff, cause this is what the hairstyle is gonna have for three days. This is still wrapped up, cause I'm about to ride in my drop top and I don't want my hair to get messed up. And I'm just still trying to lay these edges down, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> trying to get these edges to lay flat, but just a cute little sundress. It's kind of short here in the front and then gets long in the back. With some leg action, just some sandals, some light. We just doing some improv stuff and it's a nice day. So about to, Keep it light. I have no idea what we're filming, but we'll see once I get there. Bye, Spidget. Bye, boo. I did not know that you was this fucking short. Let's stand there, let me see. Shorty. She said she five, five. God damn, Jessica, for real? That's crazy. She put on her Instagram, five, five. And I was like, bitch, you five, five? Like, she called me a fucking Spidget. You've always been that short? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. It's the hair, girl. It's, it's the hair. That's probably yeah, the, top yeah, that's head, the top of my head. The top of my head is only right here. <laughs> it's always the hair. Yeah, you very, very short. Yeah, it's always the hair. All right. I told you I be trying to be fake tall telling people I'm 5'5". You said strength, a little piece of chain. Hey, shake ass, girl. I'm only playing. I'm putting in close friends. All right, so let's do it. So... Do we need to get an establishing shot before you want to grab that? I kind of just want something kind of like just a little movement, like a little like kind of slide across the bed, just to. The cheek. No, no, that's not actually where I want it all. Oh, okay. Like, no. From over there, like it just, it's just like slide across the bed, but it shows like I'm asleep. You just up, like you waiting. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna find you. So, so I'm up over here, pissed off. <laughs> so you want to get that now, or you want to get that after? No, we're gonna get we're gonna Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I'm 
of its early. It's like six something. Um, it's actually been up for a while. Uh, my homegirl Sheree. So you guys can see me. Hi guys, good morning. <laughs> um, my homegirl Sheree is on her way over here so I can take her to the airport. Um, Cause I live really close and she lives really far. So she's just gonna park at my house and then I'm just gonna take her to the airport. Um, ended up not traveling this past few days. So that was a blessing. But got a lot done in the process. Um, so yeah, so today is, like I said, Sheree's on her way over here now to do that. And um, yeah, today's kind of just a chill day, honestly. I don't have anything planned because I wasn't expecting to be here. So just a lot of online stuff, social media stuff. Supposed to get up with Lonnie if they allow it. Um, to overlook like his like books and stuff, like to just see like how he does it with the social media stuff. I kind of want to get a better grasp on it. I introduced him to this new finance guy that we literally met like out one day when we were hanging out. I was like, yo, like my homeboy was just talking about that he needs to turn this with his business, and so I linked it up. And I was like, oh, and they actually they actually ended up working out. So may do that that's like some zoom shit so i might go over there and do that but outside of that i'm chilling today guys i'm kind of excited it's very rare that i have days where i have like nothing to do when i'm in, when i'm fully anticipating not being in town and then i end up being in town it's a chill day just gonna get a lot of stuff done around the house probably try to finish up i probably can't do that with my nails being done i was gonna say finish up these chairs now that my table is in um so I can finish up this home decor stuff. But now that I think about it, I don't think that I can do that with these nails on. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because I'm almost finished with this with this project as far as like this room being like almost complete. So. Oh, let me open these blinds. Does anyone else do that? Like first thing in the morning, like open up blinds, open up the blinds in the room. So yeah, so let me turn this around. So my new table came in and I'm reupholstering my chairs. So my chairs originally looked like this. There's six Parson chairs that I already had. And I was like, there's no point in spending the $1,200 buying six new chairs when I can just reupholster them how I want them because I already have the six chairs, it was pointless. So as you can see, I already had the six chairs. So what I'm doing is I've already finished the bottoms of three of them. So changing them to cream and then it's going to have nail heads along the side and then the middles are going to be tufted with crystals and then it's going to have nail heads on the side and then it's going to have pulls on the back so i'm actually because you can see like this table is now empty because all of the things are gone so i actually have all of the where are my pieces this is all my extra fabric Hold on. Oh, Jesus. All right. So these are the nail heads that are going to be, and I know, and you guys have seen these before. I know you have the nail heads that are going to be all around the sides. These are the crystals that are going to be pulled through and tucked it. And then these are the pulls that are gonna go on the back of the chair. So, and then this is my extra fabric and padding 
that I have. So as you can see, I'm in the middle of doing this project. That's why all the chairs are gone. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eventually end up changing my kitchen and then changing it to probably an island right here because I realized with these chairs being gone that I actually like it being super open. So changing out the floors and all of that. As you guys know, if you were keeping me up on social media, I redid the floors here, all throughout here. This is gonna be up the stairs and all of that. So it's a work in progress, guys, but it's coming along. My fireplace that's gonna go over there, I actually just got it the other day. If you watch the vlog, you know that. Um, it matches the coffee table. So it's mirrored and crystalled. Just how this is mirrored with the crystals. It's a fireplace that matches it, so. That's what I'm probably gonna be doing today, is finishing up some decor stuff. I thought Sheree was here. Finishing up some decor stuff. Um, like I said, I really wanna finish working on those chairs, but I don't think I can do it with these nails on. Good thing about press-ons, I could take these damn nails off in a heartbeat and call it a day, but I don't know if I really want to because I have a Carol's Daughter photo shoot on Friday. So I kinda wanna keep, I still wanna have my nails. Um. Oh, child, that's how when you know you out of shape, honey. Jesus, you know when you walk up the damn stairs and get tired. So, yeah, it's a home decor day. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Home Goods and the container store because I am getting ready to redo my pantry. Yep. I'm getting to redo re my pantry and I need to start get, getting the containers together. The baskets, I've been getting ideas on Pinterest and all that of how I want it to be. That's what I'm doing today. A fucking home goods haul. Yep. better when your people you know what I'm saying they like nobody know who they are then everybody start going to them I need to get my eyebrows done like ASAP and she booked and she's talking about some comeback at 6 30 I gotta be in the west end at 5 45 there's no way I can make it from there to here and be here by 6 30 so now I'm gonna have to try to come like first thing in the morning if even that I need to find some more low key people. Start from scratch, low key. Nail people, pedicure people, eyebrow people. Even my waxer, my waxer be booked all the time. Like, oh. I hate body hair. I be having to get it gone when I need it gone. Ugh, it just blew my whole day. So getting ready to go to Home Goods, do some shopping. I am going with my friend Joe. We are about to head out. Stupid rain. Now I have to drive in my damn truck. home decor shopping with Joe um, got some good containers and like two turntables some other little knickknacks I think one set of those containers I think I'm gonna take back though because it because when I thought it's, it's $50 and it's only five containers and yeah it's the pop tops but it still is kind of 
not worth it. So I don't know. So I think I'm gonna end up going back to at home to take back those because they were fifty dollars and that's just way too much. Um, but so now I'm headed to go meet Lonnie to meet up with him and Josh to go over some business stuff. Kind of learn about that. Take the next right listen. onto Lee Street Southwest. Talk about some different stuff. And I'm going to some brewery. Monday Night Garage. So, how to do that? Turn right onto Dimmick Street Southwest. In 600 feet, turn right onto Lion Avenue Southwest. And I'm missing Southwest. my turn, talking to y'all. Sound right, boy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Sound right, boys. 